Firefighters responded to Marslands just before seven last night. It took them six hours to get the fire under control. They still don't know what caused it. I spoke with some people in the community today who told me why this store was much more than a business. Bluegrass and country music were common sound from Marceland's Feed and Seed store. Owner Harvey Marceland was known for supporting music and welcoming bands to play in his shop. When you come to the jams here at the Harvey's Feed store, you, you can sit on the feed sacks and listen. Lewis Martin played the mandolin inside the store every Tuesday. Today's the day we should be playing and, and uh, the feed store is no more. The feed and seed store is now in ashes. It's still unclear what caused the massive fire to break out. It really is a big loss. It's a loss felt throughout Covington, bringing back memories for some. Riding my bike, uh, my mother and dad shopping, and letting me play with the chickens, the rabbits. Marcelands was founded in 1939 by Norman Marceland. His son Harvey later took over. He tell you what's the best thing to buy and, and uh, how, how to do the work and just come in and ask Harvey. This fire has affected me, affected the residents of Covington. The store was known for its friendly service, selling pet care, garden supplies, and animals, including bunnies, chickens, and ducks. At the time of the fire, about a half dozen baby chicks were inside. It's just a shame to see that happen because it's been uh, one of the staples in the community a long time. It's one of those kind of businesses that you go to because you want to, not because you have to. It hurts the soul of the community. Covington Mayor Mark Johnson spoke with owner Harvey Marceline following the tragic fire. He's still sort of in that shock mode and uh, I've had members of the uh, citizens reach out to me and, and say when he's ready to enter recovery mode that we as a community will, will be there for him. Well, there are other feed stores but uh, this is Marceline's. Now what's next for Marcelands? There is a lot of cleanup ahead. The owner has been walking around this area all afternoon and he says he doesn't think there's anything left to recover and whether they will reopen, it is just too soon to say. In Covington, Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News. All right.